All right, I'm back at it again with another ADTH video. This time, I want to showcase WTVJ here in Miami, Florida, where they are broadcasting station logos on the over-the-air ATSC 3.0 broadcast. No, these logos were not obtained over the internet. They are broadcasting these on PLP Zero, which is really cool. It adds to the EPG for sure. All right, now I'm going to show you why I know that these are being broadcast over the air. First off, I'm not connected to the internet as you can see here. I'm going to complete a new channel scan. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna to go to auto scan, scan. All right, this is gonna take approximately six minutes. As you can see here, I am putting erase existing channels and reset channels. This will completely erase everything start the guide from ground zero and then start scanning in new channels and again we are not connected to the internet so let's get this channel scan going now come back in six minutes 11 minutes later all right it looks like this channel scan is gonna be wrapping up and it just did all right start to watch now of course we do not have an internet connection right now i'm gonna start scrolling around i'm gonna hit something from WTBJ. I just want to show you something. Under the technical information page, which is uh, what I just brought up right now, as you can see, it shows that for PLP0, it is sending the EPG and the SLT data. Now, I'm assuming that everybody knows what EPG is, which by the way, is way more sophisticated than ATSC 1.0's EPG, but many of you may not know what SLT is because it's new with ATSC 3.0. SLT stands for service list table. A few important things that the SLT contains are the service ID, short service name, and the multicast IP address of a given channel. On PLP1, they are sending the service. What this means is that they have all of PLP0 to send logos. And as you can see, they just popped up as I was in this screen right now. Again, no internet connection. As you can see, it won't even play the DRM encrypted channel because there is no internet connection. And yet, look at these logos that have just appeared. I've been testing this across all of the ATSC 3.0 stations here in Miami, and none of them are broadcasting logos except for all the channels on WTVJ. So they are broadcasting a logo for South Florida PBS. They're actually sending the older logo. That's a very broadcasty thing to do. I don't like it, but... Uh, <laughs> It is what it is. Um, the CBS Miami logo is here for WFOR. There's the WTVJ logo for uh, NBC6 News. There's the Univision logo for WLTV. And there's the Telemundo logo for WSCV as well. So all of these are being broadcast over the ATSC 3.0 signal and not on the internet, which is really cool. And all of this guide data as well as broadcasts, I thought it was really cool that they were broadcasting these logos. Again, this does not have an internet connection. This was right after I did a fresh rescan for all of these channels. So it deleted all the information that it knew about these. And then within about a minute or so, it started displaying all of these logos, which means the only way to get this information in the first place is if they were being broadcast over the air. So I find it really cool that this box is able to display these channel logos that are broadcast over the air. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.